Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I have a little bit different um, project to show you today, but I'm really excited about it. Um, these are, I'm calling them paper dolls <laughs> um, that have ruffly dresses. Um, the idea for these ruffle bottom dresses came from um, Melina, um, I will link her video below. Um, she's me, Crafty Scrapper, I believe on Instagram. She has a great YouTube channel. Um, she made some tags and she called it layered ruffled bottoms for the tags and in a tag shape. And I loved it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to need to make some of those. And then I started thinking about these fabulous um, French lady dolls or um, cutouts that I have. And I thought, oh my goodness, I am going to alter their dresses. And so um, we're going to make one today to show you how I did it. But like I said, the, the technique for how to do, for how to do this um, was not my idea. So make sure you go check out her video as well. Um, Melina has a lot of, of great content. So, um, okay, so... What we start with is just a, a die cut of some type of lady or um, person that you want to put a dress on. And I got these images um, from the Graphics Fairy and then um, just cut them out on my Cricut. And I didn't worry about the fact that I had it a little bit off because her dress is going to get covered up. But it cuts it out really nice. Um, and, and if you don't have a Cricut, just cut it out with your scissors. It doesn't have to be super precise. Um, and then you have have a, a paper doll. Um, you could also use a, you know, a tag that you have that has an image of a, of a lady or a girl and just cut her out. Um, okay, so this is what it starts off looking like. This one I did um, using a variety of coffee dyed papers, and these are just scraps, you know, for my scrap pile. So this is definitely one of those scrap busters. I love it. Um, and I've got a pile of scraps we're going to use to make her dress. But this one I thought, well, that'll be kind of fun. And I used, which ink did I use? For this one, I used, um, I wanted it kind of a, a light blue, and I used the speckled egg distress oxide, um, which always makes it, they're a little bit lighter, and I think you can add water and do some other things to those, but. Okay, and then this one, I just used a variety of papers from my scrap pile. Didn't worry about trying to stay just neutral, right? So I've got some vintage sheet music, some that has some little words. I liked that pop of color in there. I used some blues, some polka dots. So she's looking quite sassy. And I used, for this one, I used... Let's see, um, faded jeans, distressing, because I wanted more of that darker blue in there. So today, though, we're going to make this lady. Let me set these aside for a second. And I, I'm going to do some pink distressing on her. So we're going to use Victorian Velvet Distress Ink and see how that works out. And I think I'm just going to use, again, a variety of scraps for her dress. I was thinking it would be fun to do one using all book page, right? Um, but I'll save that one for another time. So all you need is some kind of lady to work on and then um, a bunch of scraps. So I'm not going to worry too, too much, but I do like the idea since there's some pink in her bodice of making sure I have some pink um, so I just am hand tearing. I'm not using my ruler or tool because I like having, you know, that, that edge and I'm leaving her feet, <laughs> her feet. Um, so you can see her lovely little shoes and I'm okay if a little bit of her dress is showing, um, depending on how you tear it, you might be able to cover it all up. So we'll glue it about like that. So, but first I want to make sure I add some ink, distress ink to the bottom to just really make that ruffle uh, stand out. Now you want your pieces to be longer or wider, whatever, than, than her dress at whatever section you're working on. Um, these obviously I needed 
much smaller strips, right? They didn't need to be as long as um, the ones with the wider, the wider skirts or hems to her dress. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and the width can they can be wider and you can decide how big you want your ruffles to be i like having lots so um you know i layered them really close but even if your paper is a little bit wider or that makes it easier for you to tear like it's okay you could have a long one and then just layer one on top and cover it up it would make this a lot thicker you know depending on how you go so you don't want to glue though the bottom of the strip of torn paper because that's what gives it that ruffly look um and that was i think melina's um she she emphasized that to, to help everybody is you know don't glue down the bottom of your ruffle um and if you get a little bit of glue on there you know it'll be okay um because you're going to use your fingernail tool <laughs> to help lift lift them up all right, so there's our first ruffle, and later I'm gonna go back then and trim her dress up with scissors. I just went through and cut, and I didn't worry about keeping it, you know, all the little details. I just kind of made it a shape. This one, I, um, it looks almost like a bell, doesn't it? A bell-shaped skirt. So this, it, it's this easy. So let's do, um, this is long enough, and I really like, this vintage um, sheet music that has some blue, which um, I think there's the the original or the the actual sheet music. This was the cover, and so I think they were kind of making it fancy um, with that blue ink, and I like it because it's different and it gives a little color. All right, if I do that side, right, I get a lot of the pink showing. If I ink this side and do here, I don't get as much. So I think I'm gonna glue it this way because I like having that, that pink pop in there. So this is where, again, you just wanna make sure you're gluing just the top of your ruffle um, and not the bottom. And if you need to come in later and add some more glue, you can try not to make a huge mess but I'm really good at that so after we get layers going on like I said we'll come through with that fingernail and I may want this one glued down a little bit more one it's fragile paper um, so I want to make sure it's okay but you still get a little bit of a lift cute um, I just can't tell you how delighted I am with this um, with this particular project. Like I said, as soon as I watched her tag video, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna make some dresses and this is going to be fun. Um, now you do want, or I feel like you want that torn edge. So a lot of my strips are just off cuts and scraps that I've had from lots of different pieces of paper. Um, so some are a little bit easier to tear than others but it's worth taking the time I think and see how I can bring it down as to, to tear it um I can bring it down as far you know as kind of as up as, as I want so that that width this, this um direction again if it's wider that's okay I still bring it down to where I want because it's going to get covered up as we layer up her dress so don't get too hung up on the size of your strips. You know, don't worry too much. Um, if it's easier for you to tear wider pieces of paper than these really skinny ones, um, it'll be okay. And again, I wanna make sure that some of that sheet music, I don't cover it up too, too much because I wanna be able to see it. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, and of course, when you find these smaller ones, they, they may work as we get closer up to the top of her dress. Um, we, we need the longer ones down here. I guess you could patch some together if you have a piece of paper that you particularly like and want to use. Um, 
I'm just kind of, this is a book page, ooh, I'll be able to use this one um, soon. But um, yeah, it's like, this isn't a scrap, it just ended up in the scrap pile, but I like it, so we'll use it. Um, that one didn't have a ton of variation, but see, even that looks really good. Look what I did, guys, I forgot to give her ruffle some ink. So I am gonna go back and add. It's easier to do before you glue it down, but in the spirit of there's no mistakes, right? It's all fixable, there we go. Now it has some pink. Um, if you guys are wondering why my ink pad is doing that weird thing, I used the same dauber on the Victorian Velvet Distress Oxide. Um, that lighter, it gives you that lighter pink. Um, same dauber and it's coming off on my ink pad just a little bit, but it's okay. It's all the same color, so I'm not too worried. I really get upset when I accidentally pick up um, like the this one, the black one, and put it in my pink or my light blue or something. Oh, um, try not to do that too often. Okay. This and so see how this piece of paper is a little bit wider and it's still gonna work great. I left the bottom of the ruffle um, where I'm gonna be able to kind of just run my finger through here later and give it that, that ruffly look. Okay, she is coming together. So um, how about a little bit of book page? And see how that was a little bit easier to tear because the paper was bigger and wider? It's okay. It'll get covered up. So I'll show you that again. We had skinny, skinny, wider, and really wide. Um, if you want, I, if I wanted, I could make this into two ruffles um, and, and not put it on there, but I'm just gonna show you. Now I, I am gonna add a lot more glue to this one so that only the ruffle is loose probably should put a piece of something under here so I don't get this glue all over my mat since I'm, again, that effort of not making a huge mess. <laughs> okay, so let's see what the next one is. Um, I'm gonna do this one a little bit smaller because I have a lot of plain book page, but I don't have a lot necessarily with this. So even if this one is um, not as wide as this one, it's still going to work because I only want a hint of that book page as a ruffle. So again, I'll show you how we'll just layer it on and it all works. glue, leaving the ruffle free, and I'm going to bring it down to about right up there. Now when I go to trim her dress, you won't even know that that one was wider. Fun, right? So you really can use all different, um, all different, um, sizes of your scraps. I'm going to do another one of these pinks just because I want to bring the pink in. Oh, and that's the other thing. The other side doesn't have to be straight. Um, this paper has a white core, and I could ink it, and that would look good. It gives it quite a bit. Maybe we will use this side. I was thinking I'd use this one, but um, because the paper kind of split and the white core is showing, it gives it a little um, more of a feathery, ruffly feel. All right, we'll put that one on. I don't need glue all the way to the end, Pam. And I can always come in and add a little glue around the edges instead of, again, making such a mess. All right, her dress is really coming together. Mm -hmm. Maybe 
Oh, this is going to be really a challenge to tear. Let's see um, how I do. I really like getting to use, though, these skinny scraps because a lot of times, like, I'll make a collage with them. I'm trying to think of other things I use skinny straps for. Use it for the back of a snippet strip. Is a great use for a skinny um, piece of paper, but they just seem to pile up on me. And um, so this is a great project for really using up um, some scraps, which I love, which is probably why I'm so much enjoying um, those Scrap Buster uh, videos. All right. So cute, so cute. And if you're worried, you can periodically check to make sure you left, you know, enough of a little bit of a ruffle by running your fingernail or your finger right up under here. If you're having trouble with that, I, I did this with my other ones. I did at one point use my spatula tool to help lift it up and see where we were at. Um, get a little, bit, a little bit of a curl with your finger. Very sweet. But the fingernail tool is perfectly fine. All right. Um, if you guys like this project, I hope you'll make some and um, then show me, tag me, show me what you've made. I think Again, this could not be any cuter. And if you don't have dolls, right? Like I said, Melina's is fabulous. She she did tag shaped and decorated them. And um, I loved them, like I said. So if you don't wanna do dolls or ladies, um, or you don't have the images, uh, make a tag shape. Um, you could even do, um, I was thinking like a flip up journaling spot um, that with ruffles, right? I mean, really get creative. So fun. All right. Got just a little bit more space. Not quite yet for these two. Not quite long enough. Um, I also had this little bit of gold that I thought might be fun if I could... Um, you go ahead and tear um, a piece. Yeah, I, 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 this is the side that needed to be torn, not the other, it could have stayed straight. Um, I'm thinking if I can put that right there at her waist, oh, that'd be cute. Okay, I'm gonna save that maybe for my last layer see what we've got. I think a little more pop of color. I wonder if I have another pink or something in here. Ooh, that would really change it up. Those are some of the pages I had left from um, one of Joey Cardmaker's um, kits. Let's do it. Why not? Let's give her some spunky pizzazz here. We can decide which part, but maybe a hint of the orange. I am gonna trim this off because we're getting so close to the top. I don't want it to be um, too thick. All right, tear it here. Put the glue just at the top. This is a pretty skinny one because of how I cut it just then. Fun. All right, um, so again, depending on the papers you choose, I did not ink that one, um, yours is gonna look completely different. And if you like that neutral look, and I really do of this lady's dress, you like I said, you could do just those types of papers, or again, one made just a book page. I think that would be really cute. Maybe somebody will do that and tag me so I can see how that one looks. Okay, I think ooh, it's not quite long enough. Um, up and up, we need 
Ooh, I could have given her some polka dots, couldn't I? Ah, I don't think that goes. Not that, you know, we're a fashion plate here, but let me see some of these. Ooh, there we go. How about some hearts that almost look like polka dots, right? I'm gonna do it this way. Make sure it's long enough. I'm not having to worry too much. All right, we're almost at the end, and then I will trim her up for you, and we'll decide how we what we think of what we made. Um, so guys, if you like this video, please make sure you've subscribed to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I'll make sure I leave some orange. Um, and go back and watch some of my other videos. Um, I would really appreciate it. Um, all right, if I'm very careful, I can get this one exactly where I want it. So, I want the little um, part of the gold to, to kind of define her waist there. I'm going to add the glue here to help me with that. Yeah. <laughs> Very fun. I may... I think I'm okay with it being um, a little thick there. If I want to, I may come back and tear just a little bit of that off. I was so focused on what it looks like here, I kind of didn't look there. But let's see when we trim up her skirt what we think. So this is where um, I'm just flipping it over and I'm going to go pretty close to the line of the die cut without making myself too crazy. The flow of the dress. This one, this, this skirt had a lot of detail in it. So I am at the top going to be very careful not to cut her. Um, I could always put a piece of something back here to firm her up, and I might just because her they made her waist so tiny. Um, I may go ahead and see what I meant about just adding glue along the edge if you need to. I may go ahead and put just a strip of paper up there to give her a little stability. <laughs> her dress looking good. Okay, and then... I hope you guys can see this. I know sometimes it's hard and I try to stay on camera. All right, I'm just being very careful as I trim, especially up top. And now, like I said, as long as I get a close approximation of her skirt, I think we'll be good. Oh my goodness, she is precious. I really like her. I do wish I had not made this layer quite so thick. So I'm gonna very carefully come in here again with those fingernails. I'm gonna pull some of this off only because I don't have anything else with these dark colors. And right here at the top of my design, even though I like the gold, it just looked, um, it looked like a little too much. So let's see if that helped any. Oh yeah, it's a tiny change, but one that I like. I had the pink in. And now, if you go to start working on your ruffles and you decide that um, that you need more glue along the edge, now's your time. Um, glue, glue can be added along these edges if you feel like they're lifting up too much. Oh my goodness, I am so happy with her. I hope you guys like it too. So, oh, let me show you real quick what I meant about 
giving her back a little bit of reinforcement. This is a heavier cardstock, so I'm just going to cut a skinny strip. It might still be too wide. Um, a little smaller for her waist. Um, and then we will just glue her down and later if I think it's important what the back looks like um I can cover the whole back with something or collage it or do something to give it some more stability actually that would be kind of fun to just collage the back and then trim it back out okay but that will because that was so skinny there that definitely gave her plenty of stability now um her friend here was not as thin waisted. This one could probably benefit from a some a support too. It's like a corset, right? That no one can see made of paper. All right, so here's what we made. I love them. I hope that you do too. And um, I know this is a little different project. Okay, so and what am I going to do with these? You ask. <laughs> so I think this would be a great just to tuck inside a journal. These are a little bit big, but a larger journal, it would totally fit in fine. Um, it would be great attached to a gift. You could tie her onto a gift with a you know with or without a bow, right? Put down inside a card. Very cute. Um, you could also make them smaller so that um, their dresses, of course, would be tiny, which is fine, um, but then they would fit in a more um, traditional or standard size journal. So that's what I plan to do with them. And in fact, that's another idea. I'm just giving her some pink. Um, if we do leave the backs uh, neutral or white, you could write, write a note or some journaling or something on there um, about maybe... Why, why, why is she dancing? Why is she so dressed so fancily today? I don't know. I think she's delightful. Okay. I hope everyone enjoyed this um, fun, whimsical video. And we'll, you'll be making some ruffle bottom tags or dresses or something in the future. Let me know. Have a great day, everybody.